Why do some of us believe in God? This intrinsic question is as old as humanity, and there are many responses to it. The problem is to find a response that has universal appeal. But that seems to be improbable, for if such a response existed, then it would be used to turn disbelieving masses into believers. Objectivity and empiricism, these are the mind hurdles that hold many individuals back from believing in God. There is an anthropological theory that says God was invented within the collective mind of humanity. This theory runs the argument that as human societies evolved, and, particularly when it was discovered, that farming was a more efficient way of providing community food than the hunter-gatherer method, then the need to build institutions for enhanced group and asset security was realized. Therefore, the evolving reality of farming caused communities to become localized as opposed to nomadic, and this drove the imperative for enhanced security. The argument holds that the council class, the warrior class, and the working class evolved as a result of this learning process. The council class provided ruling oversight, the warrior class provided community security, and the working class provided the workforce that farmed and built what was required by the community. It must be noted that these evolving communal societies were largely patriarchal. This argument further makes the point that it was realized these institutions would need to be affirmed by the community, otherwise the community would fragment and dissipate, and the farming method would be lost. The standard the community would expect from, particularly, the council ruling class, would be ethically supra to what was common for the community standard. So, a high supra-ethical standard emerged in the community mind. Thus, the council ruling class had to be the closest possible reflection of that supra-ethical standard. Thus the argument says, the community referred to an esteemed council member, who was most commonly male, as a good reflection of the supra-ethical standard. He was referred to as a good person. But the standard was higher than any human could maintain. The standard came to be referred to as the good standard. But the common contraction became the God standard. Nonetheless, the valid question still remains. This supra-ethical standard, did it develop solely within the communal human mind, or was it placed there by a supernatural supreme entity, as a reflection of itself, was it placed there by God?